There are various methods for configuring your Linksys Intelligent Mesh Wi-Fi routers. In this video, we'll illustrate the process of setting up your system using temporary Wi-Fi using the Linksys mobile app. The Linksys app provides an animated guide and automatically identifies the nodes to be set up, making the process secure, seamless, and simple. This video is applicable for Linksys WHW0 series routers, MR series routers, and MX series routers. Before anything else, please download or update the latest Linksys mobile app. Second, write down the default Wi-Fi name and password located at the bottom of the parent node. For education purposes, a parent node is a router or node connected to your modem or modem router. Meanwhile, a child node is an additional Linksys VELOP Intelligent Mesh node or router that you can add to extend your Wi-Fi network. First, gather all your equipment. If you have more than one router or node to set up, make sure to gather all your equipment in the same room as the modem or internet source. Just take note that you can relocate your child nodes after the setup process is complete. Next, identify the Wi-Fi network you are currently utilizing. If you have a non-Wi-Fi modem and a separate Wi-Fi router, remove the existing Wi-Fi router. Just power cycle your modem and wait until your modem has rebooted before you go to the next step. You can also proceed to the next step if you either have a non-Wi-Fi modem or a Wi-Fi router and modem in one device. If you have more than one Linksys router slash node, choose one of them and then connect your modem or internet source to the internet port on the router and power it on. Wait until the LED power light to become solid purple. Note that if you have a Linksys WHW0X series model, you can connect the modem into any of the two Ethernet ports. After setting up the router, the port that you used will become your dedicated Internet port. Power on all your child nodes and near the parent node, no more than 10 feet from the parent node or preferably in the same room as the parent node. Make sure that no other cables are connected to any of the ports on the child nodes during setup. The next step is to connect your mobile device to the default Wi-Fi name of the parent node. Again, the default Wi-Fi credentials are located on the product label underneath the device. Now, launch the Linksys mobile app. Tap on Launch Setup if you are using an Android device. Tap on Set up a new Wi-Fi network if you are using an iOS device. Next, the Terms and Conditions page will be displayed. Click the Agree button. If you were prompted to turn on Bluetooth, select the I would rather set up without Bluetooth option. Connect the parent node to your modem or source of internet. If your parent node has a port labeled internet, use that one. If not, any port will work. After establishing the connection, press the It's Connected button. Plug the child nodes into power in close proximity to the parent node and switch them on. Then, click the Next button. Now, ensure that all your nodes display a stable purple light, and then click the button that says, Node light is solid. At this point, internet checking will begin. This could take up up to a minute. In this illustration, we've utilized a DHCP internet connection type. If the system fails to detect an internet connection, you will encounter a screen offering the choice to restart your modem or manually input settings for internet connections that requires PPPoE or static configurations. Next, you will be asked to customize your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. The Wi-Fi password is case sensitive. Tap next once done. You will see the privacy pledge screen on the next window. Just click the continue button to proceed. If you have an existing Linksys Cloud account, enter your credentials. Select Create Account if you haven't established a Cloud account yet. Just follow the on-screen instructions. The Linksys mobile app will now link your network to your Cloud account. This will allow you to manage and monitor your network remotely from any mobile device. In this instant, the Linksys Smart Wi-Fi app will now configure your wireless network. This could take up to a minute. 
You will now be asked to connect to your newly created Wi-Fi network. Once connected, return to this app and tap the next button. Following the setup of your Wi-Fi network, the Linksys mobile app will proceed to configure and incorporate your child nodes into the network. Please be patient while your child nodes are being configured. After the configuration of all your nodes is complete, a screen will be displayed to show the number of nodes successfully detected and configured on your network. If you have additional nodes to add but forgot to turn them on at the beginning or if some of your child nodes were not detected, tap on add more nodes to try again. Make sure to move your node closer to the parent node, no more than 10 feet away from the parent node or preferably in the same room as the parent node. If all the child nodes have been added or if you intend to add additional child nodes later, proceed by tapping Next. Once you see this screen, just hit on the Next button. You can now unplug and relocate your child nodes. Tap Finish. Your Wi-Fi should now be ready. Tap on Go to Dashboard. After you relocate your child nodes and power them back on, wait until the child nodes have a solid blue light. This indicates that the nodes have connected to the network and are ready to use. Congratulations! You can now connect your wireless devices to your Wi-Fi network.